Well, a Congolese entrepreneur is leading one of the world's largest container shipping companies, Merce Klein, in the Democratic Republic of Congo and Congo Brazzaville. Her story is inspiring to thousands across the region. Africa 54's Paul Ndiho has our report. Despite repeated hardships, Nancy Mbalai's ability to lead a male-dominated industry is amazing. As the chief finance officer for Mask Line International, she oversees the Democratic Republic of Congo and Congo Brazzaville, managing nearly half a billion dollars in revenues. You need to, to do more, especially when they look at you as a young lady, uh, when you are competing with other men in, the, in this industry, and the shipping industry is a very high male industry, you have to do more, you have to show that you are, uh, you master what you do. Mbalai is part of the next generation of young African leaders who are trying to make a difference and to inspire others to aspire for leadership positions. You need to have the passion first for what you are doing. Mm -hmm. You need to be highly engaged because it's not easy, especially in our context here in DRC country and the same also in Congo. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of challenges, uh, there's a lot of uh, events that you cannot master, so you always have to be ready to take the right decision at the right time. Mbalai attributes her accomplishments to partners and supporters. She says her goal is to empower other young entrepreneurs through mentorship programs. We have to start within ourselves because before leading a business, leading people, it all starts with leading ourselves. You have to know who you are, what are your values, what you are, what makes you fight, what makes you look for better, what is your why. Why would you want to do what you want to do? Nancy's rise to the top has not been without its challenges. It requires additional effort from us when we have to compare with men mm -hmm. because you have to do good in all aspects of your, your life. With offices in Kinshasa and Matadi, Mask Line is creating employment and helping businesses in the country to connect with key global markets. For example, Matadi Seaport, the main outlet to the sea, uh, is where most of their exports and imports are come through. So when a lot of people are talking about uh, this hidden treasure, they never even mention it in the first place. But uh, I'm surprised to learn that uh, there's just more than actually one port that uh, serves uh, this uh, great uh, country. The Voice of America was recently given an exclusive tour of the new multi-billion dollar container terminal located at Matadi on the Congo River. The facility opened for business in August 2016 with the help of the Philippines in partnership with the Congolese government and the private sector. The new terminal is fitted with the state-of-the-art security cameras, sophisticated computer systems, modern cargo handling and storage facilities, including a fire engine and an ambulance on site. The new terminal, dubbed a one-stop shop, has dramatically reduced the cost of doing business uh, transactions like clearing cargo and paying taxes. It also has restored some faith in the system. However, critics say that even though Mask Line has made a concerted effort to localize many management positions previously held by experts in Africa, the company still falls short and needs to do more. Paul Ndiho, VON News, Matadi Seaport.